All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be learning about selectors. Now, what I mean by that is we're going to be learning the different ways in which we can select the HTML elements so that we can apply some kind of a style to them. Now, the first selector is called an element selector. And this is something we've been using for the past few tutorials. So you should be very familiar with it. So let's say we want to apply a style to the paragraph tag. We use the paragraph element as the selector and then we specify some sort of style. So let's say a color and let this be in blue. And we create a paragraph within the body. This is paragraph one, let's say, and save it. And when you reload it, we have this is paragraph one in blue color. So that's how an element selector works. And the second type of selector is an ID selector. <coughs> Excuse me. Now consider the situation. We have, let's say multiple paragraph, multiple paragraphs. This is para two. And then a new paragraph. This is para three. <coughs> Now, let's say that, okay, I'm writing some sort of an article and the first paragraph I want it to be in a blue color, the second paragraph in red color and the third paragraph in green color. Now, right now, we cannot do that because the, par the paragraph element selector is going to apply the color to all the paragraphs. So if we save it and refresh it, we have this is paragraph one, two, this is paragraph three, all in blue color. Now, what we can do is assign an ID attribute or have an ID attribute in the opening tag and let's specify a value to this ID. Let's say this is paragraph one, so para one. Now, if we want to specify a style to just this paragraph, then we can select this paragraph using this ID. So we have a hash symbol and then followed by the ID value. So P-A-R-A-1. Now what this does is it's going to select only the first paragraph and apply the color blue. And when you save it and reload it, so we have the first paragraph in blue color, the second and the third with no default, with no blue color, but the default black color. So that's how ID selector works. You assign an ID to the HTML element to which you want a style to be applied and then you can specify that particular ID selector using the hash symbol followed by the ID value. Now the third type of selector is a class selector. So once again consider the situation where there are around 30 students who are willing to take up the HTML and CSS class. So what a teacher does is put them all together in one class and then start teaching so that all the 30 students are going to learn at the same time. Now, a class selector is something very similar. You just create a class and apply a style to it and you assign that class to all the HTML elements to which you want that same style to be applied. Let me show you what I mean. Now to create, a, let me just quickly delete this ID. Now to create a class, we use a dot followed by the name of the class. So let's say this is going to be red paragraph. So everything this red paragraph style uh, or what I mean is this red paragraph is, is a class and it's going to have a style which is red color. Now if I want to apply the same class to multiple elements then we use a keyword called class and then its value is going to be this class name. So red para. And when you save it and refresh it, you see that the first paragraph is now in red color. Now in the same way, if we have a class once again is equal to red para. Okay, para and refresh it Now you have the first and the third paragraphs in red color. Now in the same way you can create multiple classes and assign them to multiple elements and they're all going to have the same style that is 
defined within that particular class. So a red paragraph class is going to assign this color red to all the elements to which it is, it is defined as an attribute. Now the final, <coughs> excuse me, the final selector, or actually not the final one, but the next selector is called the universal selector. So let's say we have an H1 tag, H1, hello, and then an H2 tag, hello, and then an HY tag, let's say small. All right, now what if we want, let's say we want a font type or a font style or a font family to be applied throughout a web document. So what we do is use a universal selector. Now that is represented by the star symbol. Now if I, if we specify the star, it means that select every element and apply the style red color. So when you save it and refresh it, we have each and every HTML element that has been colored red. So just a quick recap, we have an element selector like a paragraph element that with which we can apply a style. We have an ID selector when we have a unique ID within the web page and we want to assign a style to that particular ID. We have a class selector and finally we also have the universal selector. Now that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, I've got a few more selectors and we'll see how to deal with them. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.